Change will not come if we wait. For some other person or some other time, we are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. Change is never easy, but always possible. We are not enemies, but friends. We must not be enemies. Though passion may have strained, it must not break our bonds of affection. The future rewards those who press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm going to press on. The success of our economy has always depended not just on the size of our gross domestic product, but on the reach of our prosperity, on the ability to extend opportunity to every willing heart. We don't ask you to believe in our ability to bring change; rather, we ask you to believe in yours. The best way to predict your future is to create it. We did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it. If you're walking down the right path and you're willing to keep walking, eventually you'll make progress. We need to keep making our streets safer and our criminal justice system fairer, our homeland more secure, and our world more peaceful and sustainable for the next generation. We are the first generation to feel the impact of climate change, and the last generation that can do something about it. Hope is not blind optimism. It's not ignoring the enormity of the task ahead or the roadblocks that stand in our path. It's the belief that there are more good people than bad. That kindness can triumph over cruelty, and that progress can prevail over hate. In the end, that's what this election is about. Do we participate in a politics of cynicism or a politics of hope? We did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it. My fellow Americans, we are and always will be a nation of immigrants. What I believe unites the people of this nation, regardless of race or region or party. Young or old, rich or poor, is the simple, profound belief in opportunity for all. The notion that if you work hard and take responsibility, you can get ahead in America. We are not as divided as our politics suggest. We're not as cynical as the pundits believe. We are greater than the sum of our individual ambitions, and we remain more than a collection of red states and blue states. We are, and forever will be, the United States of America. The arc of the moral universe may bend towards justice, but it doesn't bend on its own. The strongest weapon against hateful speech is not repression; it is more speech. The best judge of whether or not a country is going to develop is how it treats its women. If it's educating its girls. If women have equal rights, that country is going to move forward. But if women are oppressed and abused and illiterate, then they're going to fall behind. A good compromise, a good piece of legislation, is like a good sentence or a good piece of music. Everybody can recognize it. They say, single quotes. Ha dot dot. It works. It makes sense. There's no such thing as a vote that doesn't matter. If you're walking down the right path and you're willing to keep walking, eventually you'll make progress. The future rewards those who press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm going to press on. If you run, you stand a chance of losing. But if you don't run, you've already lost. If you're willing to stand up for what you believe in, I will stand with you every single time. We can choose a future where we export more products and 
Outsource fewer jobs. Where you are right now doesn't have to determine where you'll end up. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. Making your mark on the world is hard. If it were easy, everybody would do it. But it's not. It takes patience. It takes commitment, and it comes with plenty of failure along the way. When we think of our heroes, we often think of those who shine in the moment. But the people who make a difference are not just the ones with the most accolades. They're the ones who've done the most work over the longest period of time. We need to keep making our streets safer and our criminal justice system fairer, our homeland more secure, and our world more peaceful and sustainable for the next generation. The future rewards those who press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm going to press on. You can't let your failures define you. You have to let your failures teach you. The cynics may be the loudest voices, but I promise you they will accomplish the least. In the face of impossible odds. People who love this country can change it. Hope is that thing inside us that insists, despite all evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us if we have the courage to reach for it and to work for it and to fight for it. We don't ask you to believe in our ability to bring change; rather, we ask you to believe in yours. The American dream is not a sprint. Or even a marathon, but a relay. Our families don't always cross the finish line in the span of one generation, but each generation passes on to the next the fruits of their labor. It's important to make sure that we're talking with each other in a way that heals, not in a way that wounds. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've. Been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. I believe that climate change is real and that it is here to stay. We have an obligation and a responsibility to be investing in our students and our schools. We must make sure that people who have the grades, the desire, and the will, but not the money, can still get the best education possible. The strongest democracies flourish from frequent and lively debate, but they endure when people of every background and belief find a way to set aside smaller differences in service of a greater purpose. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope.